coronavirus pandemic has thrown everything for a loop. We were no longer able to do things that we normally would without a moment's thought, like spending time with friends, heading down to the shops, and even hugging those that you're close to. Things are slowly but surely getting back to normal now, and one of the latest steps on that road to normality has been to reopen pubs and restaurants. If you're anything like us, you've missed the simple pleasure of meeting up with the important people in your life, heading out to a great pub and enjoying a fine meal over a few drinks. Cornwall is, a- is absolutely spoiled for choice for great foodie pubs, so it's been a particularly difficult thing to lose. Thankfully, things are getting back to normal now, and the government is urging the public to support the hospitality trade, which has felt the economic impact of the pandemic as hard as any other sector. With that in mind, I'm Tom from My High Digital, and these are 10 of the best gastro pubs in Cornwall that we think are well worth a visit. The Mariners Rock. The Mariners pub relaunched under Paul and Emma Ainsworth last year and has gone from strength to strength ever since. Sharp's Brewery beers are on tap for that refreshing pint, while there's an all-day menu and cream teas on the food side of things. The menu has been designed by Paul and joint head chefs Joe Rosier and Tom Dawes with a focus on British classics, but, but there's a huge amount of variety to keep even the fussiest diners interested. The Mariners is also fortunate enough to enjoy spectacular views out over the water, especially when dining upstairs. St Tuddy Inn, Bodmin. When a pub holds a Michelin Bib Gourmand, you know that's a great sign, and St Tuddy Inn's rustic cuisine is a delight. The pub itself creates a cosy and warm atmosphere, while on the drink side of things, you won't find it easy to choose from the fine selection of wines and real ale on offer. Don't forget puddings though, with a walnut and honey tart among the many delights on offer. The Plume of Feathers, Mitchell. This pub has just scooped a gold Taste of the West award following the arrival of new head chef, Andrew Dudley. The 16th century inn has been turned into a luxury B&B country pub, but it still retains all its original charm, offering a contemporary restaurant while retaining the original oak beam ceilings and wood burner. Feel free to bring your dog along to this welcoming pub and prepare to enjoy some great food. Port Gavern Restaurant and Hotel in Port Isaac. If you're holiday making in the area, chances are that you might pay a visit to picturesque Port Isaac, the fishing village made famous by ITV's Doc Martin. It's a fine spot for coastal walks too, so if you find yourself in the area after a long walk and feeling a bit peckish, Port Gavern Restaurant and Hotel, tucked away in a secluded cove, is well worth a visit. It's been hailed as one of the top pubs in the county in recent years, including Best Pub in Cornwall in the Pub and Bar magazine in 2017. Menus change by the season using ultra fresh coastal food. The Ferry Boat Inn, Helford Passage. You won't find oysters any fresher than those at the Ferry Boat, which stands in a stunning location on the bank of the beautiful Helford River near Falmouth. They're farmed only yards away at the Duchy Oyster Farm, but if oysters or seafood aren't really your cup of tea, the wide ranging menu should have something you'll enjoy, which you can wash down with a refreshing glass of Cornish cider. The Springer Spaniel in Launceston. This is a pub that embraces its Cornish countryside roots, shown through its rustic interior and a menu that is equally rustic created using local fruit, veg, and as much local produce as possible. There's a playful side to the food too, with seafood wreck, three little pigs, and even a fish finger sarni among the options. Don't let that fool you though, for under the light-hearted exterior lies a pub that demands your attention. Driftwood Spas in St Agnes. There can't be many pubs in the entire country that have their own microbrewery on the other side of the road, but that's true of Driftwood Spas, a friendly inn close to the pretty beach of Trevornance Cove, which is overlooked by the pub's upstairs dining area. Three separate bars are timbered with the masts, or spars, of sailing ships, all serving some of the beers made across the road at the microbrewery. The pub also has a great history. It's rumored that there's an old smuggler's tunnel that leads up from behind the bar through the cliff face. The Ship Inn in Port Levin. Standing right on the harbour side of Port Levin, the Ship Inn's bustling bar and busy dining room is a testament to the tasty food and welcoming atmosphere. The views out to the sea are fantastic, and at night, there are a few more romantic sights than the floodlit harbour. 
There's a real range of drinks to choose from and the changing guest beers mean that there's always something new to try. The Gunner Ted in Zena. Standing on a pretty stretch of coast between St Ives and St Just, the Gunner's Head has built a reputation on a short, fresh and seasonal menu where everything is done just right. The huge enclosed garden is perfect for social distance eating outside, while in the colder months when things are hopefully back to normal, the bar area is warmed by log fires. The Rashley Inn in Polkeris. Known locally as the Inn on the Beach, the Rashley does indeed have a perfect position overlooking the pretty cove of Polkeris and St Austell Bay beyond. The pub is well known for its great food and decent beer, and there are few pubs anywhere with a better view. And that's our list! Did we miss out any of your favourites? Your beloved local perhaps? Why not make a comment below to let us know your favourites? And remember to like, share and subscribe to My High Digital's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.